How can stamps help your child's reading comprehension? It's time for Library Make. Critical thinking is integral to boosting your child's reading comprehension. Recognizing and making patterns helps your child better able to predict what comes next. Making predictions are important to boosting your child's reading comprehension. In this video, I'll show you how to make two kinds of stamps. First, I'll show you how to make an easy potato stamp for some basic patterns. Then, we'll step up our pattern making game with a fun yarn stamp that is great for getting creative and making harder patterns. For this stamp, you'll need a potato, a pen or pencil or markers, a knife for adults only, paint. First, wash the potato and get all that dirt off. Use a paper towel to dry off the potato. Your paint will have trouble sticking to the potato if it's wet. Finally, cut the potato in half. Next, figure out which shape you want on your stamp. How about a circle? Or perhaps your child loves triangles. Draw your shape onto the flat surface of the potato with a pen, pencil, or marker. Now, have an adult cut around the shape so that the shape is raised. Be careful, guys. Safety first. Repeat these steps on the other half of the potato. Make a new shape so that you can create some awesome patterns. For the second stamp, you'll need styrofoam or floral foam. Floral foam is easier to cut through. Tape, yarn, paint. First, cut the foam into a shape. You can use a regular old serrated kitchen knife or an X-Acto knife. Straight lines are easiest. You could simply use the foam shape as a stamp, but we're gonna make this stamp a bit more interesting. Take your yarn and wrap it around your block. You can create any pattern you want. Wrap the yarn around multiple times to create one well-defined line. Now it's time to get creative. First, create a pattern, and then see if your child can repeat it. Once they get the hang of recognizing patterns, ask them to make their own. See if they can explain their patterns. Ask them questions such as, what comes first? What comes after that? What shape is this? The possibilities are endless. Happy making! This has been an episode of Library Make, a production of the Plano Public Library System. If you'd like written instructions for this craft, click on the link in the description box below for a PDF file. Or, for more information, you can check us out at our blog, kidsbrainplano.org. For more information on what's going on at your Plano Public Library, go to planolibrary.org. Thanks for watching!